Welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Smart Quiz Builder is the most powerful and customizable quiz and survey plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm excited to let you know that we have released yet another amazing feature that will give you so many more options when it comes to scoring quizzes. Now, scoring quizzes are one of the most popular uh, quiz types. We see a lot of our users, uh, they are using scoring quizzes. So let's talk about scoring quizzes and the different options we have in Smart Quiz Builder. So number one, you can have a scoring quiz uh, where you assign points to each answer choice and users get points based on the selected answer. However, there are no correct or incorrect answers. So at the end, the outcome is based on the total score. Another type of scoring quiz is where you assign points to each answer choice based on the answers they pick. However, you can also mark correct and incorrect answers. You can have additional text to support the correct answer, support the incorrect answer to let users know why the answer is correct or why the answer is incorrect. So you can do this with SQB. This was something we already had. Now, third use case is where you have a scoring quiz and you have categories. So you have created different categories and you have assigned each question to a specific category. And what you want to do is when users select a specific answer, you want SQB to calculate not just the overall score, but also their category level scores. Now, one of the things our users have been requesting is the ability to redirect to a specific outcome screen based on uh, the highest category, right? The highest category total and not just the overall score, but the category level score. So now we have added so many more options in terms of where you can redirect users. You can redirect them based on total score. You can redirect them based on a range. You can redirect them based on category level score. But now what we have done is you can set up a rule to say, redirect them to the category that has the highest score. So you can create different outcome screens for each category and you can redirect them to the one uh, that has the highest category score, but on each screen, you can display the overall score they got, you can display the category level breakdown, but the outcome screen or the outcome page they get redirected to is based on the one you have assigned to a specific category, and it could be based on the highest category total. So I want to take you behind the scenes quickly now to show you how you can set this up. All right, so let's take a look. So this is the SQB backend. This is the Manage Quizzes page, and here you will find a list of all of your quizzes. This is a quiz I have created. This is a scoring quiz. Let me edit and show you my settings. All right, so this is a quiz, basic settings. Give your quiz a name, description. This is a scoring quiz, display settings. And this is where you can configure different options. So first thing is category level calculations. So here I want SQB to calculate not just the overall score, but also category level score. And first thing you need to do if you want to uh, get SQB to do this is go to the settings page and create different categories. So under settings, advanced quiz settings, click on quiz category and click on add a new category and give it a name and description. You can add as many categories as you want. Now, when you create your questions in SQB, you'll be able to assign it to the right category. All right, so in the display settings tab, uh, main thing is to enable this. If you want to get SQB to calculate category level score and outcome display rules. So you can see here, there are two options. You can send users to an outcome screen based on their overall score. It could be the range or it could be the total score. Or you can send them to an outcome screen based on category level score. So we had this before, but we didn't have the option to send them to an outcome screen that you have created for a category that has the highest total. So now what we have done is added this new option where you can create different outcome screens. You can let SQB know which outcome screen is connected to which category. So you can assign uh, each category to a specific outcome screen. So you can do the mapping between your category and the outcome screen. So you can create an outcome screen per category, right? So you can do this now and you can get SQB to redirect users to the outcome screen that you have created for a specific category that has the highest total, right? So you can create different outcome screens. You can assign each category to a specific outcome screen. At the end, users take the quiz. SQB will calculate the total score. It will also calculate the individual category level score. So whichever category has the highest total for that user, SQB will redirect them to that outcome screen because you have already configured the category to outcome mapping. And I'll show you how you can map category uh, to an outcome screen in a bit. But, but here you can set up your outcome display rules. You can send users to an outcome screen with the highest category total, or you can send them to an outcome screen based on a range. So both options are here. And this is the new option we have added. So I have selected this option to show you how this works. And uh, one more thing you can do here is correct answer display. So here, this is a scoring quiz and there are correct and incorrect answers in this quiz. So I have selected yes. And where the correct answer should be displayed, I have said only display it on the final results page, not on each screen. 
So that's up to you if you want to show it on each page, if you want to show it on final results page, if you want to show uh, in both places, that's up to you. You can configure that here. But if it's a scoring quiz with no correct or incorrect answers, you can turn this off. That's it. Now let's take a look at the start screen. This is a scoring quiz and you can create a start screen or just a regular button like this. And when users click on the button to take the quiz, SQB will then send them to the first question. And this is the first question. So I have three categories in this quiz, math, English, and science, right? So I have created these categories in the settings page. So it's showing up here. And now you can assign each question to a specific category. That's how it works. So first two questions are math, second two questions are English, and the last two questions are science. All right, so question one, assigned to math, single choice, and these are the answer options. This is the correct answer. And because this is a scoring quiz with correct answers, so I have checked this and number of points users are going to get if they get the answer correct. All right, so you can assign the points here. You can assign points even if they don't get a correct answer. That's up to you. You can leave it empty, zero points, or you can say minus one point or one point, whatever you want to do here, you can assign points here. So this is how you can assign a question to a specific category. And here, correct answer message, incorrect answer message. You can enter this here because this is a scoring quiz with correct, incorrect answers. So let me show you the second question. Same deal. This is the correct answer. I have checked this number of points. I'm not giving points for incorrect answers. It's set to zero. And uh, if you don't enter anything, it'll be zero. And here you can see again the same thing. Third question, English category, right? It's just the category is different here. And here you can see this is science category and I have two questions in each. All right. So now let me take you to the lead generation, regular stuff. Users complete all the questions. They answer all the questions. They will be sent to this screen uh, where they can enter their name and email. Uh, and then they will be redirected to the final outcome screen. But if you do not want to uh, display an opt-in form, you can turn that off in the display settings tab here. Lead generation, you can turn this off. So this is the outcome screen. I have three different outcomes, math, English, and science. So based on the category, I have created outcomes, right? Because I want to be able to map each category to a specific outcome because I'm saying whichever category has the highest score, I want to send them to that outcome screen. And I need to be able to do mapping between my category and an outcome. So once you create your outcome and you try to save it, SQB will detect that you have not yet done the outcome to category mapping because it's a category level score and you have said send users to the one which has the highest category total. You need to let SQB know the relationship between the category and outcome so it can redirect to the right outcome screen. So here you need to select the category and you can select the outcome to which you want SQB to, it can have a different name. By the way, it doesn't have to match. But here I have just named them the same just so it's easy to understand and map. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. You can see if users get their highest total in this category, they will see this outcome screen. If they get their highest total in English category, they will see the outcome screen that I have created for English. And if they get the highest score in science category, they will see the screen I have created for the science category. That's it. Go ahead and save it now. And now it should save. So now, based on the one in which they get the highest score, SQB will send them to that specific category screen. All right, so outcome one is for math, two is for English, and I have made it easy to understand by adding the text here. So when we test it in the front end, you can see if we are getting sent to the right category screen or not, right, English and science. And I have also added this personalization tag here, and you will find all of these here. These are the ones you can use for a scoring quiz with categories show category total, right? And it will show the overall score and category level breakdown. If you do not want to display the overall score, but just category level score, you can use category total in percent, or you can say category total in number. All right, so these are the options. And one more thing we'll be doing, which we have not done yet, is here, there's an option to display charts. And when you enable it, there are so many options where you can display a bar chart or detailed results, spider charts. Soon we'll add an option where you can display bar chart or a spider chart to the users when they complete the quiz on the outcome screen, you can display these charts, but you can display category level breakdown, right? You can display these charts to display uh, their score in different categories. So this is another awesome feature we'll be adding soon. Uh, right now you can display this for overall results and not category level results. And they can see how many people took the quiz and how many of them got a specific outcome. You can use it for that purpose for now, but soon we'll be adding an option where you can show them how they did in each category in the form of a chart, all right? So another awesome feature, which is coming soon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this quiz and that's it. So this is the short code, I'm going to publish it. 
on a WordPress page and let's go ahead and test it. This is a page in WordPress, just a test page. I have entered my short code here. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. All right, so this is the front end, just a standard WordPress page. And I'm going to go ahead and take this quiz. So I'm going to correct answer, next, correct answer, next. And here I'm going to pick a incorrect answer and incorrect answer and just a random answer here. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So I got a total score of four. I got three in math. I got one in science. And that's because one of the questions, let me show you in the back end. I got two points for first and I got one point for this. I got both answers correct. So math, I got three, three points, three possible points. I got three out of three. English, nothing was correct. Science, I got one correct answer, one out of two. And these are the correct and correct answers. And you can see I was redirected to this screen. That's because I have set SQB to redirect to a screen that has the highest category total. And I got highest in math. So I have done the category mapping here, in the outcome screen, category mapping. But I have said math is connected to the outcome name, uh, math. So this is my outcome math. So users are redirected to this one because I got the highest in this category. And if you don't have to call it math, you can call it whatever you want. You just have to map it here and let SQB know what is the connection between a category and an outcome. So this is how it works, really simple. I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.